Well, I'm hoping this will. Oops. Well, there's a lot of reflection here. Uh, Hoping this will show up. I've got a lot of reflection here. This is my friend Jesse Strope. He's about eight or nine years old, and this is his this is his uh, sled that he pulled behind his horse. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got his uh, got his dog with him. That was his favorite dog, and this is the sled that we went and pulled out of his shed. And I just didn't want to see it disappear to history. Uh, He's had this in his garage over here for the last probably 30, 40 years. He's owned it for over 85 years. So I took a video of us taking out, getting out of the garage. Uh, I will say when he owned it, it was red. And one of the stories he tells about it is his sister wanted to borrow it to be in a parade in Idaho. And he said, well, go ahead and use it. So she took it and she painted it purple and he never forgave her for painting it purple he was very upset with her because it had always been red when they bought it brand new it was red so he never forgave her for painting it purple and it is still purple anyway hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching more there's a shed right back there i think that's the shed it's in What a weird noise. Oh, it's a text message. Oh, yours? Oh, okay. Yeah. I believe it's in that shed right there. I can say it's been, been about, about a year ago I saw it. I think it had an open shed. That was his old uh, hot water heater and he yeah, cracked yeah. it, cast iron side and he cracked it. I don't know if we can get it out or not. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, wow. Uh, she's in pretty rough shape. How heavy is it? Can you give her a pull and see how heavy it is? Don't hurt yourself. I just don't want to hurt it. Yeah. That's oh, not too bad. Okay, let's push that mattress off to the side there. I'm going to pull this one this way. Boy, some of that metal is getting thin, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder, probably should pull the back end around, maybe. We gotta watch that. Well, let's see here. Boy. Uh, can we move some stuff there so we can, yeah, so we can pull it backwards, yep. The door's still on well. The door's a little froze up. That door froze up. Can you go up and over that? Let's see that thing that's laying there. Can we go up? Yeah, we're on top of it over here. Okay, let's go. Okay. Go back a little bit. Oh, well, that ain't going back. You want to go back like away from that yep. wall? Yeah, ready? There you go. That should probably do it. Oh, he lost one of the bars to it. It's broken. That's too bad. Let's see if we can't pull it around. Ready? Yep. Get some of these shakes out of here. Well, let's go with this guy here. Let's see where Frankie's at. I didn't realize he had an old Jeep out here. Hey, that old, old Willie's. See it right there? Oh, yeah. Old school Willie's. Oh, you want to go down and... Oh, Frankie, you want to know, you can come right up here and right around, okay?
George. Okay. Ready? Yep. Mailing address or physical address? I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with this sled. But just because it belonged to our friend Jesse, I didn't want to see it just get left behind. Jesse's down at uh, Jesse's down at uh, the hospital. He's not in good shape. He's probably not going to get home. And I told his son Cal that I'd grab the sled and I'd put it away. And if somebody in his family wants to come down and might home and get it, I'll just keep it for him. I just didn't want to see somebody do something with it that wasn't respectful. It's just too cool thing. <laughs>